Got a quick unboxing and also got um, some news. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is a quick, yeah, quick unboxing, right? So I actually ordered all of this on January 28th. And I had no idea what was gonna happen that weekend, right? <laughs> Did anyone? Actually, some people, you know, you follow trends, you see things. So I ordered this the week before the whole GameStop and uh, Silver Short Squeeze thing. We're on week two already of this, you know, of everything. I'm not gonna go into that. But it was, timing was amazing, apparently. So I got, I'm gonna show you what I got, right? Just take this out. I didn't want to show you the video of me cutting. I just wanted to jump to this because I have some stuff. There we go. So what did I get? I hate you so much. Tape. It's such a good tape, actually. Okay. So I got... Four American Eagles, American Silver Eagles, four rounds, where are they at? rounds, and four maple leaves. Come on. Five minutes later. <sighs> Eleven minutes later. So where I got this from was Silver Gold Bowl, right? And this is how much I paid for them. Pre short squeeze, okay. So the sil random silver rounds was twenty seven sixty, the American silver goes twenty nine fifty two, and the American maple leaves was uh, twenty seven ninety four. So let me see. I don't remember what the spot was at that time. Actually, let me get you just check real quick. Spot was at twenty six fifty. Wow. Okay, and so that was, you know, I, I actually, I looked on um, fine bullion prices and I looked for the cheapest American Silver Eagles, the cheapest Canadian Maple Leafs, and the cheapest um, assorted silver rounds and Silver Gold Bull did have some, you know, pretty good, pretty, pretty good rates. And so I, I went with them and I bought all four, about four of each, right? So we're talking about, okay, and let's see, 20... 20, I think those are all 2020s, okay. So all my Maple Leafs are 2020s. All my Eagles are 2020s. Wow, okay. Let's see. Where's that, okay. And then all, yeah, all my Rounds are buffaloes, which I find these really boring, actually. Um, they're just so common. You know, if it was a gold buffalo, that'd be a different story. Or I like buffalo nickels, too, just to, they're cool, but I don't really, not, don't collect, you know, just have them. And so, I just, I actually like Silver Road Bull because I've had some amazing rounds. Like, uh, not amazing, but like just the assortment, when I get the random rounds, they, they have some pretty awesome random rounds. That's okay. So, the news that I was going to pass on to you, okay, okay, is that I have a post box, post office box, and I can start receiving mail through that, and I can publish that, and it's actually put 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 on my my YouTube channel description, and I'll put it in this video as well. Okay. So, let me, actually, why did I take that on the camera? Okay, and so I must have a story about that. So I was applying, put the maple leaf side up for some peoples. I know you guys, some of you don't like seeing the queen's face. So here, we're just gonna throw some maple leaves. Mm -hmm. And let's say I have a post office box, right? Well, it's not really, I was trying to apply for the USPS for the 
for an actual for the post office, the actual post office, a USP post office, and apparently they needed a proof of my uh, where at residency, right, where I stay. They needed proof, and so it was weird. They needed something from our what I call our our, our DPW, our Department of Public Works, right? Basically, was a map to my house where I lived, and. I went to go get that, and apparently, um, our Department of Public Works has my house as a different number on their records. And let's just say, I was very dumbfounded. I was confused by that because I've I've literally not lived at this house, but this has been my house, my family's residence since I was born or since I was a baby, probably like one one. I'm 31 years old now, so about 30 years this has been my family, my family's residence, and it has had the the same number, all right. And their records say that it's different, and they said, "Oh, this is what the the built the planners." And I have filled a tube of American Silver Eagles. Wow. Okay. Accomplishment or check off that. And so. I guess this is more than filled. I need to take a few out of these. I'll do that. Let's just put that there. And so they were trying to tell me that. Okay, so I know if you live in a county or a state, right? The the city or the county is going to make sure house numbers and actually makes your routes, right? So that's the way it is. Guam is the local mix, and the USPS kind of just goes off of what they put, right? So. They said they have to fix it. That I since their mat, the, what I what I was applying for, and the what our deep our department of public works works has is different. That they have to go by what the department of public works has. And so they were plan. They were like, I was like, oh, your your houses might not have to be renumbered, right? And I was like, the whole street. Of like 20 to 30 houses have had these same sequential numbers and they would have to change their the post office was trying to tell me that oh they might have to change the po their num their numbers and i was like just because i want to get a post a, a box here they would have to change the whole street <laughs> and change all her house numbers and i was like this is not worth this so I was like, never mind. Let's cancel. Let's pretend that this never happened. We'll be going along. I'll still keep my house number, that my po my mailbox number, my mail number, or you know, street address. We'll keep it the same. That's fine. I don't want to deal with these. Right? I don't want to deal with that. Okay, oh, almost. Uh, and so I ended up getting as a private post, a private mailbox. I'm not sure if you have heard of it, but not heard of it. But like, it's it's just. Um, if you ever see PMB, uh, that actually means private mailbox. And so that private mailbox will be is in my video as will be in the video description and will also be in my channel description about me, right? So if anyone wants to send me anything or if you want to do a sticker trade, just go ahead and let me know. Send shoot me an email. My email is there as well. And actually some people you're gonna uh, you know uh, I you might expect uh, I might send a, I actually have some stickers and I want to mail them out before I show them on the camera uh, first so I'm not sure if that's kind of weird but yeah so some of you might receive it on you know out of the I just might send it like hey here is my channel sticker and then might have something I don't know we'll see but I know it's it's like almost customary to give like a little small piece of like junk silver or something so, uh, just, you know, if you want to send me something, there you go. If you want to email me, go ahead. And uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you give it a good thumbs up. Uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to see more of my content. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. And now that we've reached the end, I would like to just say thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again next time. Come on.
breaking the damn freaking. So where I got this from was SD Bullion. So I got this SD bullion. Not, 